Hi guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. So happy to have you here. I'm in just like an extra good mood today because I'm getting ready to go on a cruise to Bermuda and I've had it booked for two months. So it's just been like a little bit of anticipation, but it's been a really long time since I've been able to go on any kind of like a real vacation. And I'm just like so excited. So my boyfriend and I are going to Bermuda. It's five days leaving out of New York City. And so for the next five days, I'm just gonna be taking you guys along with me. And this is my first like real travel vlog. So bear with me, but I hope you guys enjoy this and come along with me on my vacation and let's get going and head to the cruise port so we can check in and start this adventure. We're boarding the ship now and I'm so excited. Joey, are you excited to board the ship? Yeah? Okay. So I just want to take a look at the bathroom. This is way night. Where's the light? See the light? Is that it? Sometimes these things are delayed. Okay, well, that's fine. This bathroom is way nicer than the one that I had on Royal Caribbean. It's just kind of dark because I could not find the light. I don't know, maybe it's because we're in port. So I'm a total idiot. I completely forgot in cruises. There's like these little cards that you have to push them in and that's what controls the power. So now I do have lights in my bathroom. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so we got a balcony. Oh, okay. I mean, we're still docked, but the balcony is really cool. If I can open this door. <gasps> Hello, New York City. Uh, we're leaving in a couple of hours, so that should be. I'm super excited. We're gonna go get a drink now because I think we really need it. Yeah, you want to go get a drink? Yeah, I, I, I was thinking about just you know sleeping for six hours. Oh, you're that's lame. All right, well, I'm gonna go get a drink and make some friends. Right. Found the casino where I plan on not doing it. Definitely gonna get a cheeseburger. That's what you're recording right now? Yes. You never know what you're gonna need. You're not even in it. You wanna be in it? Am I supposed to be in it? You can be. I don't know how you felt having me on the internet. Is that part going on, on YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Probably cod. I got a little bite of that. Yeah, you can have a little bite. So we're gonna probably just get some dessert. And you see everything is organized by the different kind of stuff that you would want to get. All the sauce are how the machine's broken. It's like McDonald's. Oh, this is not cute. He is loving this, and I am loving that he's loving this. Every year. If you really need a second lunch, like I would say that one. Yeah, you're, this not gonna, one. you're not getting the German cake? No, I think I'm gonna try this Mexican Ibarra. This looks good and it's really pretty. Get one of these. Yay! What are you gonna get? I'm getting everything. Get a tray. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. All right, we're leaving New York City. Headed to Bermuda. Water. This is wicked. There's so much wind. Yeah, 
that's a lot of weight. I've already combed one down of my hair once today, and I'm gonna have to do it again. Do you wanna go down to the party, or do you wanna go to bed? Probably bed. Yeah, bed sounds good. It's like 10.54. My bedtime is normally like 10 o'clock anyway, so I think it's bedtime. See you tomorrow! Good morning. It is day two and just got up and I want you guys to see the outside because it's so freaking cool. Look at this. We're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Just got up and this is my view. Oh my goodness. This is so amazing. I originally did not want the balcony. And honestly, I'm so glad that Joe convinced me to get one because this is just really cool. I love this so much. It's you wake up and this is what you get to see. We're gonna get ready and head down for breakfast. Oh, because... this is beautiful. <laughs> okay, yeah, look at that. And I totally didn't realize that Bermuda was an hour ahead of New York City. So our clocks are an hour behind and I don't really know if I can even update it. So I'm just gonna have to like keep a mental note. That is more champagne than it is orange juice, and I'm not going to complain about that. Copy my again. Kind of looks like the bowl a little bit that escargot comes in. I'm your big Japanese chef from the Philippines. I am made in the Philippines. For the sake of Instagram, <laughs> don't worry, mom. In my first days, I will perfect this Japanese steak. <laughs> That's part of the show. Oh, let's finish this. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, you know already my opa rice. <laughs> I couldn't escape from this. Opa rice. <laughs> I'm making my own version of Japanese ratatouille. Of course, for you, Mom Ariana Grande. We lost on the way. There you go, Mom. Did you hear, Mom? You cannot eat, Mom, sir. Thank you for vlogging me. <laughs> Mm, oh yeah, we just had the secret key. Our right uh, the secret key. Okay. <laughs> no, we just got back from dinner and he got a cigar, so we're gonna go down to the cigar lounge so he can get it cut and smoke it, which is what? <laughs> Oh, but you know what? It's it's fine. Uh, it's vacation, so I'll I'll let it slide. Better let it slide. You heard? <laughs> okay. It How was it? Yeah, I actually heard that. Oh, oh, okay. Is this the back of the jungle? I have not walked back here. Oh my god! Is this the back of the ship? And you can't see it. Maybe I'll have to go back during the day. But that's really cool. I'm seriously like a child. I'm so easily entertained. Pushing every single button. And every time I do, by the third or fourth time, press press it, there's an elevator already for us. Oh, that's great. The streamlining the whole process. We don't have the time. All right, end of day two. It is bedtime. Getting up early tomorrow so that we can have breakfast. And then we're finally docking in Bermuda. And I'm super freaking excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Yes, okay. So tomorrow is just like a smorgasbord of whatever I guess we really want to do. It's going to be a crazy adventure. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, it's fine. I'll cut it here. Good morning. It's day three. We're supposed to be in Bermuda this morning. We're supposed to dock, I think, in another hour. Oh, there's like a little little buoy there. All right, gonna get ready and go have breakfast so that I'm ready to go explore. Once we get here, our voyage is almost finally over. Oh my god, the buildings are beautiful. We should be docking, um, I think, in the next half an hour or so. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. The water's so blue. The camera is not really doing it justice. Having shot Shuka for the first time, and then Joey's got French toast. Okay, we're here, and it's raining. So that's a bit of a bummer, but 
It's okay. We're gonna have a great time anyway. Ah! Oh my god. The sun is out and it's absolutely beautiful. We are headed out to go see the Gibbs Hill Lighthouse, which is the oldest cast iron lighthouse in, I believe it's the Western Hemisphere. And there's 185 steps, so we're gonna attempt to climb up the top. Built in 1846. Built in 1846. Let's uh, see if I make it to the top. Oh my god, it is absolutely gorgeous on this little island. So happy that the rain stopped. Did we go the right way? No, we did not. Henry VIII restaurant, sushi bar, and pub. That is quite the fusion. There she is. And we've got to walk all the way up now. So, it's a long walk. but we yeah, but we found the right direction. Thanks to the locals who are super friendly and willing to show you where you go. Bless. Well, oh, baby, there's like bits of information along the way. Did you realize that? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, no, we're just gonna go straight up. Oh, we're making it to the top. Almost. My leg is broken. Are we allowed up this? Yeah. It is beautiful. It's hot. It is hot. It's so pretty. I think it was worth the exercise and the cheap feet. We're actually like walking around and it's like, I'm not sure how safe this is. Wow. I think it was worth it. Chickens! Hello, chickens. Oh, it's beautiful. Horseshoe Bay. I want to be honest. Sand doesn't look pink, but it's so pretty. Look at these rock formations. It kind of reminds me of St. Lucia, honestly. Oh my god. But this is better. St. Lucia was pretty amazing, but this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> I honestly can't believe how beautiful and blue the water is. I think it's just been such a long time since I've been able to come to an island like this. And America's beaches are gross. I mean, just look how blue and beautiful. I know I keep saying that, but it's because it's true. I'm so grateful to be here. Okay, so Horseshoe Bay Beach was absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad that we went. And now we're making the trek back up the hill to try to go find something for lunch and hopefully make it on time for our jet ski reservation. Looking forward to trying some like local Bermuda food because I always try to avoid chains whenever I go somewhere just to try something different. But the water was gorgeous, lots of waves. Yeah, highly recommend. So if you're ever here, it is very touristy and there's a lot of people on the beach, but I, I I think it's worth your time. You know, I'm noticing Bermuda really likes sushi. Okay, change of plans. The restaurant that this guy directed us to was like sushi and basically American food for like 20 and $30 and we didn't want to pay that. We want really something more local. So we are headed back down to the beach, just get pay for the freaking shuttle to go back to like the Royal Dockyard. And we're just gonna get something there because I read in some blogs of some good spots in that area that are more like Bermudan. girl for lunch and I got the Bermuda fish cake sandwich and I guess it's supposed to be like this local thing and so that's really awesome. I'm just exhausted. Obviously got a ton of sun and uh, yeah that's great. Hello Mr. Chicken. This is chicken. I'm so burned. This is gonna hurt so bad tomorrow. <sighs> Don't forget to put your sunscreen on, um, even if you think it's overcast and that you're not gonna burn because you will. <sighs> Lesson learned. We're at the Hamilton Harbor Nights in downtown Hamilton. I think this is one of the last ones of the summer, so it's really, really cool. We're gonna go hit up some street food and have a good time. We're tired, burned, and uh, I think we're gonna head back to the ship now, get some sleep, get up early, so that we can uh, rent some mopeds and drive around the island. So that should be uh, a fun adventure. Good night. This is not a beauty to return to. Home sweet home. Good morning, it's day four. We're going to get up and get ready, and have some breakfast, and try to uh, see as much of the island as we can because we gotta be back on the ship by one o'clock to leave. My skin still hurts and I'm hoping, I haven't seen myself in the mirror yet. I'm hoping that it healed enough and I'm definitely smothering myself in sunscreen today. 
So the rain today's um, was a little worse, I think, than it was yesterday, but we're gonna try to make the best of the day. It's a little gray. We missed our excursion this morning, but honestly, like I'm so burned that I couldn't really go kayaking anyway. And uh, we're gonna try to get some mopeds and hopefully make the best of the last day here. So we're trying to rent a moped, but I think we might have to call it quits and just get a plane ticket back to Bermuda at some point because it's just kind of too dangerous to ride. And Joey's really sad and I feel really bad. <laughs> Okay, now we're headed back to the ship because it's just been like non-stop rain and I think we're just kind of done and we're gonna chill on the ship the rest of the day. We weren't able to get the moped, but we got some cute little souvenirs and we got two bottles of Hennessy Pure White, which, oh, there's a truck, which they do not sell in the continental United States. So we're excited for those, but this is good for Bermuda because apparently they haven't got rain in a really long time. It's just a real bummer that the two days we were here, it was raining. And of course we get back on the ship and the rain stops. Ah. Joey is so hungry, he's eating his napkin. <laughs> okay, the sail is now, or the sail, the ship is now leaving Bermuda and I'm so sad. It's beautiful. But the next day and a half, we are sailing back to New York City. It'll be fun, but this island is honestly absolutely beautiful. And as I said earlier, like I'm, I'm flying back. I just did not get to see enough of this on a cruise. So the plan is to fly back and rent mopeds and do all that kind of stuff to like see more of the island to get more of like a local feel for it. Definitely gonna miss this island. Bermuda was amazing and it was not as touristy honestly as I thought it was gonna be and it was also very diverse. I knew it was owned by the British but for some reason I just didn't expect it to be a very diverse island like all kinds of different people which was honestly really cool and I just really enjoyed the entire vibe. It's gorgeous. The water is so blue. The people are so nice and I just, I just highly recommend. Like it's amazing. My biggest piece of advice is just wear sunscreen. Just, just put sunscreen screen on and then maybe you won't turn into a lobster like I did like I'm so red like Larry the lobster is my cousin we'll just wave to it we'll just wave goodbye goodbye Bermuda I'll miss you oh yeah are you content with your dumplings yeah. yours Oh, that looks good. Hey, just had dinner at Shanghai's Noodle Bar, which it took us three tries to get into. And we finally did, and I'm so grateful. And uh, we still had an hour and a half wait, and we got there four minutes after they opened. Wild. Tomorrow's our last day at sea. And then back to New York City. It's been an amazing adventure. So there's one day to go. It's not over yet. found aloe vera and this thing cost me $16 but I don't even care because I have a $50 like onboard credit that I haven't spent at all and our excursion got canceled because of the rain this morning so I got even more credit to use so I'm literally just trying to like spend this credit now before the ships like our trip is over I'm so excited for this stuff way overpriced but I have a feeling it's about to be worth it so so excited Good morning. It is day five of the cruise. It's our last full day. We're at sea all day and we went an hour back. So it's actually like 6 30 in the morning. Tomorrow we land back in New York City pretty early in the morning and then the trip's over. So and I feel like I'm already planning on looking at booking my next one. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit out here for too long because it's very sunny and I'm recovering from my sunburn still. It's very bright. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna be out here for like two minutes. I can barely keep my eyes open. But I wanted to sit out here and see the ocean and finish my coffee. I'm gonna go get a mimosa because I'm gonna utilize this drink package to its absolute fullest. But okay, yeah, I'm going inside. My skin's burning again. Because I feel like enough people drop them. Yeah, Joey up. here spilled his drink in the room and we had to clean it up. He's very sad. We're gonna have to go get another one. I'm devastated. Two, three, someone's gonna open us. Hey, what do you know? Love you. Joey, you wanna go get 
at lunch? No, it's lunch time. Yeah, like 25 minutes. 25 minutes? Yeah. Maybe I'll go eat by myself then. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh. Thank you very much. This is so pretty. Oh, oh your hands are cold. I'm oh, sorry. You ready to go get some lunch? Okay. Give okay. me like five, like three minutes. I need three minutes because my wrist is frozen. Oh, you're such a drama queen. You froze me. Oh, no, I didn't. My hand was just a little cold. You froze me like Elsa. Okay, Joey's got his lunch now. Is Joey happy? It's been an amazing trip, and I'm really sad that it's over tomorrow, but it's okay. Now I just have to plan the next one, and it looks like we're going to have to go to a lot more specialty restaurants because they were Joe's favorite. Well, I'll see you guys in the morning when we get off the ship. Good morning. It is the... We're back in New York City. We got here around 6 a.m. It's like surreal. It's like, it's nice to be home, but at the same time, it's like vacation has to come to an end or you're just not going to appreciate it when you go. I look like a raccoon. Isn't that just absolutely lovely? But my sunburn is getting better. I was actually able to sleep much more comfortably last night. We're back. We're gonna finish packing up here and get off the ship and head home and see our cat who hopefully missed us. Okay, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you know anyone who likes this kind of content, share it with them. So please comment, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Now